The name's Corbin Blackburn. I graduated in 2013 and majored in finance and minored in economics while I was at AU. I work as now as a financial planner uh, for a firm called Skylar Financial Group up in Cleveland. And the steps that got me to where I'm at today, I mean, it was largely a culmination of everything that I went through at AU, both through my academics, some of the relationships I built, and uh, you know, some of the experiences and leadership experiences I had at school. My job is essentially twofold, one of which is to find people that need my help and that I would enjoy working with, and then the second part being help them achieve all their financial goals, whether that's through financial planning, investments, or insurance. Motivating for me is there's a lot of control in what I do. So what I mean by that is it, not that I'm always in control, but I can control outcomes in my situation, my success or failure up to a large extent. So because I'm going out and meeting new people and bringing on clients, I'm not in a position where if I was working for any company where I have to work with people I may not enjoy working with or I have to work certain hours I'm not comfortable doing or do a certain level of activity. Essentially everything I do is completely up to me. It's an interesting question, especially with me being in financial services, uh, just because anything finance related, ethics always comes into question due to recent events. But uh, lucky for me, I mean, it, you know, I had strong ethics due to the high school I went to. There was always a focus on, you know, good moral behavior. And then coming through Ashland with our finance curriculum, Dr. Harvey, who's actually no longer with the school and is retired, he had a big focus on ethics in finance, and he's actually started a, a second organization that focuses solely on that. Being in a position where I have to make decisions and recommendations for clients about what could benefit them or what could benefit possibly me or my company, that puts you in quite an ethical dilemma. And you know, luckily with the, the background I have and my ability to stick to it, it makes that decision very easy. Not too much. Uh, I wouldn't say they've changed, but their, their importance and relevance has definitely become way more well-known, uh, mainly because being in school you don't face too many ethical dilemmas, so to speak. I mean, your big problems at a, as a college kid, when you look back at them, they're very small in comparison to anything else that could possibly be there. So you just begin to notice when you have to make ethical and more moral decisions out in the real world. I don't know if there's any one particular experience, so to speak, that got me. I think it's just a combination of you know everything you go to. I mean, but getting out into the real world, there's so many different changing pieces of parts, especially in your first two years, which is you know what I've gone through at this point. Um, but but it's a little bit of everything. I mean, you obviously use the education component. You learn to love you know what you study, and then eventually put it into practice in the real world. But you also build relationships while they're while you're at school. A lot of it's taught here at AU in terms of the you know the curriculum, and they're going to teach you what you need to know in order to be good at whatever your chosen field is. Um, some of the intangibles I think a lot of college kids don't necessarily focus on. Um, you, you know, one of the big ones is just relationship building. So I know when I got into the workforce, my mentor at work told me. You know, if someone offers you and you haven't seen them in a while or you meet someone new and they say, hey, let's go grab coffee or let's grab dinner, you know, very few people actually take others up on that. It's just kind of something you see in passing, um, but it never really goes anywhere. And, you know, I was taught from him that don't be that guy that lets that happen. Always go find a way to, you know, make that conversation happen, go out and meet them. And it seems meaningless and very small at the time, but you do it enough and you realize what a difference it can make both in your life and their life. It, it's small stuff like that that while you're in college it's easy because you're around your friends, you're around your teachers, you know, on a daily basis. But when you actually graduate, you're in front of a whole different group of people. So making that a priority really helps. The advice that I would give is, uh, I mean, while you're in school, obviously enjoy it, but find that right balance between having fun, meeting new people, but also focusing on your major.